Hello and welcome to another AIC Productions video. Today I'm going to be working on doing another holster. Uh, I actually bought two more kits. Uh, again, I'm going to be doing one in green and one in blue. Uh, this next one, I've already started the process. So here's the sealed kit. And here's this one that I've opened. And when you get it, the piece of leather that you get is it has no holes or anything. It, all they've done is punch the shapes out for you of the main holster piece. And then for the strap, you have four holes there. And the holes are punched into the belt loop. So I've gone ahead and started the process by punching the holes now. Because uh, I've done this before once already, I have the piece of paper cut out previously so I just went through and punched I just used a, an awl to go through and just poke uh, pilot holes in all the places where I need to poke a hole and then I used a punch to then punch out the required holes so this is the starting point of where I'm working from now in this I used a little triangle went back and forth and made this almost I don't know what to call this pattern. Oh, it's almost like a stitch pattern, but not really. I love the way it turned out, but I wanted something a little bit different. So I'm going with a little bit more open pattern. This is just a test piece of leather, and I'm going to be doing this. So this is actually a square punch. There we go. And I'm just going to do it, um, do diagonals, or instead of doing it like this, I'm going to do it like this. And that should leave me these open areas. And I'm going to do this little. Here it is. Oh, sorry. This pattern, every other square. I think it'll look really nice. The other thing I'm going to do with this holster is I'm going to wet form it. So I kind of did this one while it was still slightly damp. I kind of squished it around that plastic gun that I had in my last video. But the problem with that is you can see. The safety is catching here on the felt I put on the inside, and that's because the safety on the plastic gun isn't nearly as wide as it is on my actual gun. Here's my actual gun. It's uh, not loaded. Oh, safety's on. Oh, <laughs> it's not loaded, and uh, so they stick out and they catch, well, especially when it's in safe. So what I'm going to do is wet form it so I can get around that um, anyways so I'm gonna wrap the gun in saran wrap now the next step I'm gonna do right now is I'm actually gonna have a ruler and a pencil I'm gonna go to line out so this one I literally free handed it I just back and forth back and forth back and forth I started down here and just kinda of worked my way up and out and across I'm not going to do that this time. I'm actually going to measure it out because it's going to be so open. You can see here freehanding it. I didn't do a great job. Now I was just doing this real quick, just get an idea of what the pattern would look like. But this one, any mistakes are going to be a lot more glaring and obvious. Where with this one, because it's such a busy pattern, the mistakes are really hidden. And they're definitely there. Like along here is pretty ugly. Uh, down here is actually probably the best part of it, along the back. Some pretty ugly spots but because it's so far away you're not going to see those it's such a busy busy pattern but this pattern it's going to be so open i got to be a lot more careful and make a lot fewer mistakes so i think i'm going to do this one i did this little um, spiral and i think i like this pattern a little bit more so anyways we're going to get going on that here All right, so my second holster is now finished. I was going to do a video including all the stamping and dyeing and everything that I was doing to the holster. Unfortunately, the SD card failed in the camera I was using and I lost all that footage, or I should say that footage never recorded, even though I was under the impression that it was recording. But this is the second holster. Uh, if you saw my other video, here's the first one. Uh, and it, I'm very happy with both of them, uh, but there's definitely some differences between the two, just because I was trying out some different techniques. So, 
Uh, first things first, the second one I did, I tried to do a little bit of wet forming on there. I don't think I'll do that again for a couple of reasons. One, it really doesn't make any real difference to the holster. I mean, it's a little bit of a shape there, but not really. But I got the, the leather a little too wet, and I actually started to lose some of my pattern. I had to go through and re-stamp, which then ruined my wet form. So... I don't know if I, if that was me or if that's if, if you really should be wet forming something that you haven't stamped, but that was my experience with that. Um, the strap I cut a little too short. I should have left it a little bit longer. The snap. So on this one, when I went to use the snap that came with it, I messed it up. Or no, I didn't mess it up. I, it was too long, and so I had to buy a different set of snaps and use those. I actually like the different set of snaps better. So this is the snap that came with it. Um, I prefer the aftermarket snaps. They're a little bit better, I think, than the snaps that come with it. Uh, what else? Otherwise, I mean, it's the same kit, so it's more or less the same design. So, my I, I've shown these to a few different people, and I think the consensus is, is this is the favorite pattern and this is a favorite color, and that this would look better in this color, and this would look better in this color. Unfortunately, you can't change. I possibly could dye this one, the, the dark blue. Of course, I don't know how that turned out. Uh, but I can't dye this one a lighter color, obviously. And this is actually blue. It's not black. And it, it's funny. So this is a really deep blue, and this is almost black, even though I use the same amount of dye as far as I, as close as I could on both of them. So, the same with this. It's all the same dye out of the same bottle. Uh, but I love how it turns. I love this pattern. Now, I do have one more kit. I have a new SD card on the way. So, hopefully, I can record doing this. Now, this one I'm going to do in green. The green dye hasn't showed up yet, but I'm definitely going to try the green dye out. I didn't try out the green dye on a scrap of leather before I used it. And I should have, because this, while I like it, it's almost too dark blue for me. I wish it was a bit more blue blue instead of almost a black blue. So the green that's coming should be a nice bright green, but of course the color of the leather makes a difference as well. So, anyways, oh, and the fit on the gun. Here's my uh, Rock Island. See, the snap just isn't isn't as good. So, oh, and because of the wet forming, it actually comes down and it sticks out just a hair there. So, yeah, I won't wet form the next one. See, this snap is a better snap. It's it holds just as secure, but it snaps on and off a lot easier versus this one, which is really hard to get off and hard to get on properly. There we go. All right. So there it is with the gun. So I think I like the gun in this color better. I think it matches the color better. And if I had a stainless gun, it would look amazing in this holster. And so I may just have to buy a stainless gun just so I can have it in that holster. See, I think that stands out a lot better, personally. And we'll see how the green does. So, anyway, sorry I don't have the footage of the actual stamping. I will say this pattern was a lot less tedious to stamp than this one. It took significantly less time, even though, in a lot of ways, it's a better one. I think for the green one, I almost want to do a scale pattern not like quite like this, more scaly with rounded uh, ends on it, but anyway, if you have any thoughts on a pattern or a suggestion, let me know. I'd love to hear it. But yeah, uh, that's <laughs> end of this video. I'm done. I'm just mostly disappointed I don't have the rest of the video to show you. Uh, again, if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section down below. I'll put links to all this stuff in the video description. I always put links to social media, affiliate links, things like that down there, so uh, go ahead and check those out for me. Anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you have an amazing day.